Hi everybody and welcome, it's Scarlet Pete here, Self Sufficiency and I'm carrying on with my knitting machine series. Well, wouldn't you like to be self-sufficient in maintaining your own knitting machine? So that's what I'm doing. We have here a Knitmaster 700 knitting machine and what I'm going to teach you to do today is how to remove the plastics so you can get to the drum in here to work on it but today all we're going to do on this video is how to remove the plastics so all we're going to need is a screwdriver star screwdriver quite a small one and what we have to do is remove there's a screw here a screw here and we have to undo those and remove those first I've loosened that one up already so that just comes out and we put that to one side and I'll undo the other one now by putting the screwdriver in here And that just comes out like that. The handle now should lift straight up and off like that. So we put those down so we know those screws came from that handle and now that reveals to us two other screws that need to be undone here and here and we're just going to undo those. So I've undone those and it can be quite tricky to get hold of so I use a pair of tweezers and I'm just going to put those there that one needs a bit more undoing. Let's pick that out. And we're going to put that to one side. Hopefully. Where is it? There. Now then, what's holding this carriage on now? As this is the 700 model, we don't have the row counter bit here. Now, if you had this row counter bit here, or it's an L-shaped piece of metal, I think that's on the 360 machine, you would need to move it so that this piece here is where it would be so it's pointing one way or the other to allow the carriage to loose now these carriages generally release when you turn the carriage tension dial all the way to zero it should just pull upwards and release like that and no you haven't broken it that bit pops off too and this bit pops off lifts up like that so once again, we'll put that on the side with the dial bit in the middle. Now this reveals to us here, let me just see if I can zoom in with my clever gimbal. Here we have a spring. Let's see if I can show it. There. Let's see. Can you see that little bit of a spring? So we've got to squeeze that while we move the carriage. All the, the dial, you see here there's a nut piece, uh, just like a little bit sticking out. And here is the hole. That has to correspond with that. So let's put it to F. And you see the hole is directly underneath it, so that will lift up when that spring is squeezed to allow it. So that's what I'm going to do now. Squeeze the spring together and lift up. So I'm just pushing the spring out of the way like that. And then... When I've got it in the right place, this should just lift straight up and out. It's quite difficult to do. It took a bit of wiggling to come off, but you see it's got a keyhole shape. And here, this piece of metal that sticks out has to be directly in line with that bit to come out. So we'll put that to one side and now the carriage should the carriage plastic will just lift straight off like that revealing the carriage underneath now this carriage has got a few problems the drums are stuck very very sticky if you look at this one here that i've just finished servicing see how how those freely run like that this one is having none of it and this one here, I haven't done this side yet. That's That's got some gunk in it there, some yarn stuck. So the next thing we're going to do is teach you... Ooh, look at that. That one's got some nasty stuff in. Teach you how to service the drums on the carriage. But thanks very much for watching. I hope removing those plastics has helped you learn how to do that. And then when you put it all back together, the remember that when you've got the plastic carriage facing on top, 
this spring here is the one that was making life difficult. This has to be pulled back out of the way when we drop this on to the thing so that that little hole there, little shape, can then afterwards hold that spring in there. Right, I'm off. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to go shoot the next video. Bye everybody. Take care.